Hi, I'm Abby. I'm Saria. And welcome to Our Sweet Digs. Where we have no shortage on doors. Before you come in, click below to subscribe. We live in Crown Heights in a two bedroom converted into a three bedroom apartment. It's about a thousand square feet and altogether we pay $2,550. I pay $800 individually. I pay $785. And our third roommate, Chloe, pays $950. I'd say for a two bedroom, which this technically is, it's too much. I know I'm getting a good deal and that it's cheap for New York, but I don't have a real room, so $785 feels like a lot for a converted bedroom. So this is our living room. We brought together a bunch of different furniture, either from like past houses or a few items that we found on the street and a few things that the last tenant left here. We all have similar taste. I think that there's definitely specific things where I'll be like, that's definitely Abby's mm -hmm. or that's definitely mine, but we try to meld them all together. Looking around and you'll see little bits of like Saria or me or Chloe. I have a poster that's like on the wall that we know is mine, but we all love her. Mm -hmm. Abby's Dolly Parton Saint Candle is like just so her, but it <laughs> works in the space because like all of our styles really do come together in it. This is our dining area and this is my table. I brought it up from New Orleans when I moved here last year. Everyone said that it wouldn't fit in our Brooklyn apartment, but I feel like it works really well with the space and it's like a nice dark wood, so it matches a lot of the other like dark wood features that we have. Welcome to my room. My room is pretty small, but I feel like I've made the space work pretty well for myself. I would say that my style is Scandinavian functionalism. <laughs> <laughs> I like kind of read about that before I moved in. It's all about like using every inch of the space. I have some of these high shelves up here above my bed. I use them for storage and then also just decoration. I have this little like vanity shelf. It's great because it doesn't take up too much space. It holds all of my stuff. It kind of frames my mirror really well. I have a little bit of like a double decker two story closet. I have a lot of clothing, so I put in a top clothing rack up there as well. And I use this little hook to get stuff out from the top. My dad is a carpenter and I explained to him how small my room was. So I went home one weekend, we built this together in his workshop and then I brought it back to New York. And I set up a computer and we Skyped while I drilled it in. He was like giving me instructions and everything. It's held up really well since then. It's definitely my favorite thing in the room. Thanks, Dad. Overall, I really like the space. It's definitely small and it was a little shocking when I first moved in here. I've worked a lot on making it really functional, but also make it a space that I feel comfortable in and that I feel represents me. Hey, this is my room. It doesn't have any windows, but it is pretty spacious and it has two different doors, which is pretty cool. It definitely means I don't get as much privacy as everybody else, but I like that we have the French doors so I can still get light in my room, but still have like some privacy too. My style in terms of decorating is definitely influenced by my mom's style, my Thai heritage for sure. The moon phases at the top is something that she has in her house and when I moved she wanted me to feel like I was at home and so she got me one too. And then I just have photos of me and my brother and my sister and then my grandparents which are also a really big part of my life. This Rubik's Cube that my brother sent me, he's 11 and he is really into it right now and wants me to get really good at it. I have not done a great job practicing but I will. This is a pretty small portion of my shoe collection. There are some of my favorite ones, and then I also keep some out in the living room. I keep some in my wardrobe and some under my bed too. When I was a kid, my dad used to work at Nike in like product development, so I always got to test the ones that hadn't come out yet. I always felt like I was the coolest kid like walking around in Nikes that hadn't come out yet. I like that all my shoes are really different from each other, but they're like a really cool way that I like to show my personal style. Overall, I really love my room. I think I've done a really good job of making it feel like me. I was a little nervous when we first moved in because it is not technically a bedroom. I wasn't sure how homey it would feel, but it definitely does feel really homey. It feels like me, but it feels like a very sentimental space. 
This is our bathroom. We just have the one between the three of us. It has a shower and like a little mini tub. We all have very different schedules, so we never really run into like an issue where someone's in the bathroom and I need to get in there. It is really small though, and like this door doesn't open past the toilet, it just like hits it and stops. But in general, it like does its job. None of us really get ready in here. We just have like face wash, toothbrushes, toothpaste, that kind of stuff. It's definitely not used as like a vanity space at all. And this is our this kitchen. Is our kitchen. <laughs> it was really nice when we moved in because this uh, came with the house and it has a really nice wooden top. I bake a lot, so it's been really nice for like shaping bread or like rolling out pie crusts and stuff. It was nice that it just came with the house instead of having to go buy one. You know in the movie Matilda, there's that scene where the boy has to like eat the chocolate cake and it's a horrifying scene. I think that's why I never ate chocolate cake as a kid because it was like <laughs> scarring. But Abby looks at scene as like, that is a good cake. I want to eat that chocolate cake. It looks good. I love chocolate cake. <laughs> we could have definitely used more storage in there. I would love like a slightly bigger fridge, but we're lucky that we have a dishwasher. We have a garbage disposal and it's definitely not as cramped as like a lot of kitchens could be. Yeah, I agree. I think more storage would be really nice. It's kind of like a skinny hallway with stuff on either side for splitting food and pots and pans and everything between three people. It'd be great if there was a little more. Yeah. And my baking takes up some space, so. <laughs> so this is our deck patio area. It definitely was a huge selling point of a house. Often in New York, you don't get outdoor space, and so we really liked having this option. Yeah, we use it a lot for when we have people over, if it's nice out, we'll like eat out here. We have a grill over here. We grew some plants. We had like sunflowers and different vegetables when it was nicer out, so once it's spring again, we'll plant. It definitely is probably the best part of the house. For sure. We just re-signed on our second year of our lease and I think that we're really excited to have a whole other year here in this place. I'm still putting up artwork and I think we're still kind of decorating a little bit and so I think it would be really nice in this next year to really solidify like what the style is of the apartment. I would also want to do like a little bit more gardening on the back deck. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit last summer but to like really get some vegetables out of there would be awesome. <laughs> I really like living in Crown Heights. I think it's a really diverse neighborhood. It's very multicultural and a lot of our friends live in the neighborhood too. So we have our friends who live downstairs. Some of our best friends live literally on the next block and so it's nice that everyone kind of feels like we're all here together. If you want to watch more videos, click here. And if you want to subscribe, click here. Bye. Bye.